pipes froze last night. It's been getting down to the single digits. We dripped us our water faucet, but it still all froze. <laughs> last year was our first time experiencing frozen pipes. And uh, we didn't know what to do. <laughs> we are not used to this cold. We're not used to frozen pipes. And I guess never really thought about it. Like our pipes can possibly freeze. It never even crossed my mind really. <laughs> and uh, our neighbors were telling us to put a space heater underneath the house where your water pipes are at and that should unfreeze it. And we did that last year and it worked, which I was amazed by. So I'm gonna try that again. <laughs> We're, we are on a well, and last year when I put the space heater down here, probably within a couple hours, the pipes were not frozen, no damage, which is awesome, but I feel like this year is a lot colder than last year. I felt last year was pretty bearable. Uh, probably had like really one or two cold days, but I feel like <laughs> this year is like, I don't know, it's cold. <laughs> so, I'm gonna try this space heater thing. But we're gonna let that space here marinate for a bit. Try to look at to where the pipes were frozen. I can't tell what's frozen. The other thing I've been doing for the pipes is I have this heat gun. So I've been lightly going along. I, I don't even know which pipe is frozen. So I've been kind of just going along and just heating up some of the pipes and just, you know, very lightly, you know, cause this is pretty strong heat gun. So. I'm trying not to get too close to it and I don't want to melt the pipe. So I've just been kind of going underneath trying to heat up whatever pipes I see. So the, the heater has been down there about 30 minutes. I'm reluctant to uh, check the pipes already inside the house. I don't know, let's check them out and see what, see if uh, we have any water yet. I'm starting this water slowly. <laughs> we have water. Yeah. All right, we have running water. That's awesome. The old space heater under the house trick. <laughs> the pipes look good. Nothing looks cracked or leaking. Man, I never thought that would work. I never would to think to do that. Um, but that's why I love neighbors. <laughs> So we, uh, we have running water now. <laughs> if any of you guys have or had experience of frozen pipes or keeping your pipes from freezing, let us know. Put, a, put them down on the comment section and let us know what you guys do for frozen pipes. Do you guys keep the water running all day in the house? Do you guys just leave it on at night? Or is there something else that we need to be doing for frozen pipes? Because I don't know. <laughs> I do not know what I'm doing. The space heater trick seems to be working and we haven't had any pipes burst across our fingers. So yeah, just let us know what you guys do for frozen pipes. That would be super helpful. But this is all a totally learning experience for us being out on the East Coast now. Different weather, you know, and we're learning. We're figuring this stuff out and I think it's just a, uh, something that we kind of threw ourselves into like we threw ourselves into this situation right like we asked for this <laughs> so now we're figuring it out as as we go sometimes that's the best way to learn right trial and error seeing what works seeing what doesn't and figuring it out for ourselves we're used to southern california winters which is like it's in the high 70s over there right now that's what we're used to High 70 winters, <laughs> not two degrees. 
<laughs> but I appreciate you guys watching. But let us know let us know what you guys do for frozen pipes. I would love to know. But I appreciate you guys watching. I hope everyone has an awesome day and we'll see you guys next time.